Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about what this is. So what is this? And I'm referring to this little thing right here, this little dot. Now, uh, what we're talking about is a uh, function. So this is a uh, function f and function g. And we have this little dot or circle in between them. And we want to know what is this, you know, what is this? You know, what does this mean? Uh, um, now, it's likely that you know what this means, but you're not used to this notation. And this is kind of the bigger... Um, kind of point to my video is in mathematics uh, you can have different notation or symbols that uh, represent the same concept so you might be learning math with these uh, symbols over here then you come across an exam that writes things differently and you might be like you don't know what to do but in fact you do know the concepts and you do know what to do you're just not used to that notation so I'm going to try to broaden out some of your notation we'll just uh, take it uh, one video at a time, but uh, this uh, notation here when we're talking about functions is fairly common, maybe not as common as another notation, but uh, anyways, we're going to talk about uh, precisely what this is in just one second, but uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, over several years, I mean like 10, 15 years, uh, constructed uh, what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Um, of course, I'll let you be the judge that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching uh, pre-calculus here uh, very soon. But I also have many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, Accuplacer, Alex, CLEP exam, uh, GRE, I think I already said that, GMAT, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis, uh, or maybe a nursing school entrance exam like the TEAS, all those exams are extremely important in people's, uh, with respect to people's goals and objectives in life. Uh, but all those exams I mentioned have a lot of mathematics on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you're not going to get through the exam. So uh, if you need help uh, with mathematics uh, for these exams, just go to my um, website and uh, check out my full course catalog. I have many, many courses. Uh, hopefully I have what you're looking for. If I do not, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So I have a great homeschool learning program. Uh, and then, obviously, I help those of you who are struggling in your current math courses. Now, uh, one thing I can't do for you, okay, uh, and I wouldn't do for you anyways because it's not going to make an impact. The one thing you have to do uh, for yourself, okay, if you're serious about learning mathematics, is you got to take great notes. Not good notes, not average notes. I'm talking about great notes. So uh, over decades of teaching math, one thing is apparent to me, uh, those students who have fantastic notes, I mean, like, you can publish them and sell them on Amazon. They're so good. I'm like, wow, I've been so impressed by some students. Not many, okay? There's not a lot of students that take great, great, great notes because it's very difficult. But, uh, uh, you know, you come across those students who are like just amazing notes. So you can, you know, someone can just, you know, learn from their notes the entire course. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, those are the, the, the level of notes that you want to be taking or strive to take. Now, the reverse is true, okay? But again, these students who take those kind of notes do excellent in mathematics. And then the reverse is true, those students who don't take any notes, or maybe they kind of like take notes and they kind of do this little scribble scratch uh, just to kind of pretend that they're writing something on a piece of paper so they don't feel so bad. Listen, I, I was, you know, I made all these mistakes uh, as a student way back in the good old 1980s, and that was such an awesome decade to go to school. But um, listen, I'm not trying to pick on you uh, because the reality is, you know, a lot of people don't take great math notes. I'm talking about great math notes. Some people take okay math notes, but then they end up doing okay in their math class. Okay, if you want to do great in math, you have to be highly focused. Focus is the key, and um, the one activity that will keep you focused is note-taking. All right, so enough about that, but listen, in the meantime, you still need something to study from, so I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so what is this? Now, it's not the word fog, although it kind of <laughs> could look like look like that. It's like F-O-G. It's not the word uh, fog because this little circle here 
is a little circle. Okay, it's like that. Okay, it's not like a dot, like a point. It's actually written kind of like just like this. Uh, so what is this? Well, this is a function operation. So if we're given uh, two functions, let's say f of x is equal to this and g of x is equal to this right here. Well, the name of this function is f. Okay, we can just uh, refer to it as function f. That's the name. And this would be function uh, g. Now, uh, when you're dealing with functions, we can do all sorts of kind of various function operations. We can add these functions, all right? Now you could subtract them. You can multiply them. You can even do little combinations of things. You can go 2 times function f uh, plus 3 times function g, okay? Then we would simplify that. And this is just basically um, algebraic uh, kind of manipulations. Now, if you want to know more about function operations, I have uh, many other videos on functions in my algebra playlist. Of course, I teach this th uh, thoroughly in my algebra course uh, in my math help program. But uh, one of the function operations that uh, uh, we're hopefully you're familiar with is the composite function. Okay, and that would look like this, f of g of x. Okay, f of g of x. This is a composite function. And if you're not familiar with uh, composite functions, if you're studying functions, you definitely need to know how to do this. And again, I have uh, plenty of videos on composite functions in my uh, algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. And um, again, I teach it thoroughly in my algebra course. And so now, knowing what this is, okay, we can kind of answer the question uh, right up here. What is this? Well, it has to do with composite functions. All right, so let's go down here. Let's suppose here's our two functions. We have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and g of x is equal to 4x. If I tell you to do this, all right, what I'm uh, telling you is uh, find a composite function f of g of x. So that's what this is right here, okay? It's notation to uh, find the composite function or yeah, do a function composition, if you will, f dot g, okay, is the same thing as f of g of x, okay? That's what that is. Again, by definition, this is what this is, but oftentimes you're probably, I would say most students uh, are used to this this notation only. So if I, you know, you're given this, um, you know, if you're given, let's say an exam, all right, and they say, find this, okay? And you're like, I don't know what that means. You would certainly know maybe this notation, right? You would be like, oh, okay, if you want me to do this, oh, okay, I can do, this, I didn't know that this means this. I know I'm using a lot of this. <laughs> but um, anyways, you kind of get my point, hopefully. Okay. All right. So that's the whole idea behind this video is the notation. Now, let's just follow through with this problem and make sure you can actually do this basic composite function. And uh, if you're having trouble with this, again, that word this, um, you, not, you definitely need to know and understand composite functions. So let's go ahead and find f of g of x. So all we're going to do is plug in the g of x function right here into this x. I'm just quickly um, explaining this. We, if this is confusing to you, you definitely need to watch more of my videos on composite functions. I have plenty of them on my channel. Again, I teach it thoroughly in my uh, courses in my program. Okay, so f of g of x, I'm going to plug in the g of x function into the f function. So that's going to be 2 times 4x plus 1. So 2 times 4x is 8x plus 1. And there you go. And that is what f dot uh, g is right here. Okay. So if you were given this, that's what this is equal to. Okay. Again, it's another notation uh, for composite function. And in more advanced mathematics, uh, you know, you kind of see this. And there's other notation for functions and domain and range. So uh, the whole idea is uh, mathematics is a language, okay? And it's like the more, you know, vocabulary you have, the more words and, you know, uh, you know, you know, adjectives, adverbs, all that kind of, it's, it's the same way in math. Math is a language, and so you want to broaden your vocabulary, okay? So you can understand uh, more. So hopefully you found this uh, video useful or interesting. And if that is the case, please go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, welcome. Uh, hopefully you'll become a subscriber. I'm posting new material all the time, but I already have like a thousand plus 
videos on my channel, been on YouTube for a long time. My objective with my videos is always to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, no one should be failing math these days. If you're doing your part, taking great notes, working hard, okay, trying to stay focused, talking to your teacher, looking for extra help. You know, if you need uh, additional help beyond what your teacher can offer you, okay, for whatever reason, then there's all kinds of resources that, I, you know, I didn't have way back in the good old days, like YouTube. Okay, if you like my teaching style, I have tons of uh, videos on my channel that you can learn from. Again, my best math help uh, will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.